Okay, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the new format of the show. Now we're gonna take you for an interview with Lieutenant Colonel Thomas, the new commander of the 78th Signal Battalion. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Simone Beamer and I'm sitting here with the new battalion commander of the 78th Signal Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Cleophas Thomas Jr. Did I say that correctly, sir? Yes, you did. Most people mess my name up. That was a good job. I'm proud of you. That was nice. So, sir, how would you describe your leadership style? I think I can sum it up by saying people first, mission first. I think if you focus on the people and you actually go out, talk to people, have them understand exactly what the mission is, then the people would actually lean forward and take care of that mission for you. So I, I just think I just get to know the personnel in my battalion and um, just tell them how much I appreciate the job they do. As the commander of the 78th Signal Battalion, what do you see uh, Signal's mission as here in Japan? Well, I think it's to provide premier communication support to all of the users in our AOR. Uh, if you focus on the customer and you provide that expert communication um, service to the customer, I think that's the most important thing we can do. Um, we have a huge mission here. Everything from cable television to photography support, basic telephone service, internet, cipernet, just to name a few services that we provide uh, to UserJ and to our portion of Paycom. And I think it's really important that we continue to focus on that mission and do a great job. I mean, I just want to provide premier service and meet the needs of this particular AOR. Have you heard the statement, live for the present, plan for the future? Yes, I have. That's a statement I use quite often. But how does the past affect your decision making today? I think the past is a lesson. I think everybody learns lessons from the past. And I think the most important part of learning those lessons is to keep them, use them for your present, and then develop a path for the future. Uh, once you learn those lessons, it's just like a big, a life is just like a big AAR. Uh, once you understand what you did wrong, then you can move forward in your life. Uh, mistakes are something that are gonna, it's gonna happen, uh, but you shouldn't repeat those mistakes. You should learn from them and move forward in life. So that leads me to my next question. What are examples of le first impressions being lasting impressions? Well, my mom told me when I was growing up, the impression that you make on a person when you first meet them is what they're gonna remember about you. So I use that quite often also. I think once you make a positive first impression on someone, no matter where they go, it could be a year or two years later, they'll always remember that positive first impression. Mm -hmm. But if it's negative, that's all they remember about you. Uh, they'll see you somewhere else and then they'll say, oh, that's a negative impression person mm -hmm. that I met a long time ago. So I think it's extremely important that the battalion makes a positive impression on not only the customers, um, but on everybody in the theater of operations. We'll provide that premier service and give that positive first impression so we'll be successful in the future. So sir, have you had an opportunity to experience the local culture here in Japan? Oh yes I have. I've been to uh, a couple of Japanese restaurants uh, where you go in, take your shoes off and sit down. The food was great, I really enjoyed it. And uh, right now I'm a little late for Bonadori dance lessons where I'm preparing for the Bonadori festival on Saturday. I think um, I'm getting into the culture and I think that's one of the most important parts. Not staying on Camp Zama, going out, experiencing the culture, getting to know the people. And um, I think you'll find your, your PCS or your experience here a lot more rewarding. So sir, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Still in the Army? Yeah, I, I enjoy the Army. I think it's um, something important that I'm doing in my life. And I think it's great that I get an opportunity to mentor not only soldiers, um, but civilians and everybody that works for me in the 78 Signal Battalion. Um, so as long as I'm having fun and um, giving a little bit back to the Army, just my piece of the puzzle, I think it'll be a very rewarding experience. And I'm, I'm going to keep doing it until they kick me out. So I'm really enjoying myself right now. Well, sir, this concludes our interview. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with us. You're welcome. I just have one last question though, sir. A little birdie told me that you had a slight problem while you were staying in lodging. Something to do with the operator <laughs> in the laundry room? Do you want to tell us about that? Not really. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just been here about two days. Just got back from the States. So I pushed zero on the phone in the Camp Zama lodging. My assumption was I was going to get the hotel operator downstairs. Um, I didn't know that the switchboard actually went over to 78 Signal Battalion. Mm -hmm. So looking for the laundry room, the guy, I called him, I said, hey, where's the laundry room? He said, laundry room? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. And I'm like, you work here. Why can't you tell me where the laundry room is? So he starts talking and he says, sir, just go down the hall and keep walking until you see the laundry room. And I told him, thank you. And it wasn't until like 20 minutes later, I realized 
that zero on Camp Zama did not mean I'm getting a hotel um, operator, but instead I'm getting a switchboard over at 78 Signal Battalion. So it was an eye-opening experience for me. Well, thanks again for that story, sir. You're welcome, anytime. <laughs> this is Lieutenant Beamer reporting for the Post Signal. Have a great day.